Hey friends, what is up? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Hey, if you're new here, it's your girl Chanel. I'm your resident movie watching BFF. This is the channel where we watch movies together and I let you know just what's going on in my brain the whole time that I'm watching these movies. I like to say that I am wrong all the time. It's kind of part reaction. It's kind of part commentary and it is 100% awesome. I always say that if you like the movies, then you should stick around because this is the channel where we like to do things from a filmmaking perspective. And then afterwards, we head to the IMDb movie trivia together to see what we missed it's my favorite part about the movies. I love looking up stuff afterwards. I've just read a bunch of hate comments about people who say I talk too much. So if you're saying that, it seems like you're pretty bored because I edited this to exclude pauses. So jokes on you, because there are some. There's not many, but there are some pauses. So, um, you know, if you have something to say, I guess let me know, because why not? You know, I can handle it. Anyway, today's video is a tombstone from 1993. It is a Western. We're kind of getting in a little bit of a Western kick. Super excited because it's Kurt Russell, and I have been looking for more Kurt on the channel. And I see Val Kilmer, which I haven't seen him since Top Gun. So um, Top Gun and Top Gun Maverick are on the channel if you want to check those out. Sam Elliott, Bill Paxton. I mean, it seems like a dream team. And I'm trying to think. I have seen Unforgiven. I'm a little bit familiar with the Western genre. It is bleak. It is absolutely bleak. And there's usually some sort of showdown at the end. We'll see what I get. I know almost nothing about Tombstone, genuinely. It... It looks epic. And I have to thank my $15 patrons. That is the tier that gets you a shout out from me on the channel. And those patrons just support me a tiny bit extra. And if you can too, it'd be awesome if you join me on my $15 tier. Patreon information description box below. And the people I need to thank this month are. Let me get my let me get my handy dandy notepad out. Daniel, David, username Grizzenmore, Jason, Martin, Sean, and Ethan. Thank you so much for your extra support on Patreon. And Damn, you know, without further ado, I think we just need to get right into today's video, which is Tombstone from 1993. 1879, the Civil War is over and the resulting economic explosion spurs the great migration west. Earp's friend, John Doc Holliday, a Southern gentleman turned gunman and gambler also travels west, hoping the dry climate will relieve his tuberculosis. They emerge as the earliest example of organized crime in America. They call themselves the Cowboys. Oh, I was not expecting that. Is that where we get the term cowboy from? It's a early, the earliest gang. Loved that historical opening. It felt very Butch Cassidy. Black and white, catch me up to speed, post-Civil War. Y'all killed two cowboys. I'm like, really? During a wedding, guys? <laughs> Looks like we win. <laughs> Looks like we win. <laughs> Tell him get on his knees. The rodeas, cabron. Oh, Chanel. Should have seen that coming, girl. They call me Curly Bill Brosis. Hey, Curly. You first. Ugh. <laughs> <sighs> Mean just for the sake of being mean. <laughs> Gorgeous close up. Love a good close up. Oh, it's good. I guess they knew we were done. Oh my god. Satanas! <sighs> They're doing a good job. I already hate the hate the bad guys. In comparison to Butch Cassidy, the filmmaking here just feels so modern. You can just really tell that the camera is so much more mobile. <laughs> that Curdy? Now let go of that stud. Going about your business. Ugh, finally, somebody nice. 
U.S. Marshal for this territory. Forget it. I'm retired. Excuse me? I don't think you understand. Oh, you don't understand, Marshal. I'm going to Tombstone. Ah, I see. Easy on the green. Don't strike it rich. I already got a guilty conscience. Might as well have the money, too. If you're going to have a guilty conscience, get paid. Sam Elliott, woo, and Bill Paxton. <laughs> Virgil Morgan, my God. I was worried I wasn't going to recognize these guys in, like, period-appropriate hair and makeup, but we got there. Come on up. Ugh, an adorable little photo op. Thank you for this, Wyatt. We could be sisters. Do you need some laudanum? Yes, I do. Yes, I have some right here. I was wondering, is laudanum a medicine? Yeah, it's some sort of medicine. 500. Must be a peach of a hand. So I think this whole time I wasn't under, I wasn't clocking. That's Val Kilmer. You son of a bitch. Billy, just settle down. Shut up. Take your money and get out, because I'm tired of listening to your mouth. Oh, the portrait behind him. Okay, lady. Damn. Boys. Guys, I know we're watching a Western, so gambling is par for the course. But I just caught myself thinking, if you're writing a screenplay and you want to show your character, your character's character, show us how they gamble. Touch that gun, I'll burn you down. Damn, he's such a bully. Oh, wow, I freaking love that fiery sky. Hey, Mark. This feels like they built this town on an actual location. Oh, it's a real grand hotel. <laughs> so big. <laughs> Gave all that up, Sheriff. Going into business. Don't even carry a gun. Anymore. As a matter of fact, we got three lovely cottages coming up for rent. This is the man whose ass you need to kiss. I'll have my man show him to you. Thank you. It seems like law enforcement as a past is going to keep attracting Wyatt. You can always spot a cowboy. They always wear those red sashes. <laughs> Okay. Cowboys are good for business. All except the Oriental. It's too bad, too. It's a nice place. Hell of a way. I said lay off the plane, you jackass. I swear I'm gonna slap. Just the Drakes. Why don't you get rid of him? Get yourself a straight dealer. Yeah. And God damn it, Junior, how many times am I gonna have to tell you to keep that damn cigar out of my face? Wyatt's got some natural born authority. He's gonna say something or do something. Something on your mind? Just want to let you know you're sitting in my chair. Oh my god. <gasps> well, for a man that don't go healed, you run your mouth kind of reckless, don't you? Oh, that's such a good way to show character. Listen, mister, I'm, I'm getting awful tired of your... <laughs> I'm getting tired of your gas. Now jerk that pistol and go to work. <clears throat> I said throw down, boy. You gonna do something or just stand there and bleed? <laughs> oh, what do you say, Milt? 25% of the house takes sound about right. <laughs> Why, Johnny Tyler! I didn't know you was back in town. He, 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 Doc? How the hell are you? Wyatt, I am rolling. Oh, they know each other. Johnny, I apologize. I forgot you were there. It's <laughs> <laughs> not a bad idea. Send a signal with Rona. Wait, Eddie sells on boys. This is just another mining camp. But you see how everyone dresses? Old Tony for a mining camp. I think this is a long take. I think we're just, we've got everyone in frame and we're just letting it play out. Easy, gents. Think of private affairs. Raise that arm. I don't want to be a man in the Wild West, man. Very cosmopolitan. Great, I'll have to have those guns. It was a fair fight. We was legal. I'm sorry, boys. I got to take you before Judge Spicer. Hand him over. How do you keep law and order? You really don't. There's really no such thing. Right. There's I recognize him, but I don't know his name right now. Ugh, a brown-haired girl. We've only been introduced to blondes. Set your gaze upon the quintessential frontier type. Note the lean silhouette. Eyes. Oh my gosh, he's a villain in Titanic. There. Your reputation precedes you. I was wondering if Not you a might... Nice meeting you. 
It's like the third time he's rejected uh, some sort of opportunity. Professor Gilman? Oh, I've seen him in Bisbee. John Corbett? Catch this. Sit down. Which one, that's which one is this? Is that part of the show? <laughs> Prettiest man I ever saw. <laughs> oh, he's an actor. Of course he is. God damn, Barnes. He's got some nerve, I'll say that. What do you he think, uh, Billy Neely? I think he's wonderful. <laughs> oh, man. I'd take a deal and then crawfish and drill that old devil in the ass. <laughs> it's giving school assembly. Well, what do you think happens when you die? Something. Nothing. Hell, I don't know. Well, I read this book. A book on spiritualism. Me too. Many. People, when they die, they see this light. They say it's the light leading you to heaven. Really? Uh, what about hell? They got a sign there or what? Hey, why? God damn it. I'm serious. You better go with him, honey. I gotta go to work. Mm. Work. Brown haired actress. You know what I'm doing? No, I don't need to see a doctor. Just go. I'm trying to place where on the channel we've heard laudum before, and I think it was Interview with the Vampire. Thank you. Great reaction shots. Kurt Russell, face of a movie star. Come on. Freaking gorgeous. I love this movie. Do you want to know what's the one thing that they don't do well in these period pieces? The eyebrows. I feel like women would have like very different eyebrows. This Gaston looking motherfucker. Ugh, I don't like red shirt guy. Law don't go around here. Savvy? I'm retired. Yeah, that's real good law, dog, cause law just don't go around here. Yeah. He has to stay retired to stay safe. You must be Doc Holliday. <coughs> well, that's the rule. So I was gonna call Doc just a drunk, but I think he's also sick. <laughs> very sick. He looks very sickly. I don't know, there's just something about him. Where are we going? <laughs> nice. Wow, good spins. Oh. Wyatt's gonna take his kneecap out. It's my guess. That's the equivalent in Barbie when Ken just plays the song at Barbie. <laughs> Oh, yes, make fun of him. Yes, so strong. Bravo. <laughs> Bravo. <laughs> this movie is so strong. It's giving me like all the right feelings. It's leading me exactly where it needs me to go. Peace out, sir. Very impressive. Mm. She likes a lawman. I was waiting for a bit to see where we're going in this movie. I thought it was going to be Westward expansion movie. I thought it was going to be a gold rush movie. thought it was going to be a showdown movie. It is all those things. It's this is a movie about Wyatt. We've uh, we've never actually met. My name is Wyatt Her. Yes, I'm Josephine just... Marcus. I was beginning to think we'd never meet. This is fortuitous. Ugh, I'm using fortuitous in my everyday life from here on out. <laughs> She's starting. <laughs> How do they know? They know. It's got all of the wide shots and close-ups of Butch Cassidy. We might have to do Unforgiven now, so I can compare. You could have been killed back there, busted up. Fun though, wasn't it? You'd die for fun? Wouldn't you? She's not like other girls. What do you mean? I'm touchy about it, aren't you? Ooh, let's take our hair down, friends. Happy? Are you happy? No, I'm always happy. <laughs> that blonde woman, is that your wife? Who's asking? What's your idea, Heaven? Room service. <laughs> I want to move and 
go places and never look Maybe back. Maybe this is the intention, but she's coming across as a tad too modern for me in terms of performance. She sounds too modern. What do you talk? Never heard a woman talk like that? Never. I think this is the point. She's a modern girl. She's not proper. I'm a woman. I like men. If that means I'm not ladylike, then I guess I'm just not a lady. Oh my god. No arguing that. He might have the best reaction shots in Hollywood. What do you guys think? And where have you been? Just out. Mm. Right. How are you feeling, Maddie? <laughs> That, that good, huh? These two. Is that old dog Trey? That sounds like old dog Trey to me. What's he talking about? It sounds like baby one more time to me. <laughs> How to slip a joke in there, guys. You know, Frederick f***ing Chopin. Ugh, Chopin. It's about to happen. What's, go what's going on? about to stir something, I think. Oh my god. I feel like if I had a bar, it's like, check your gun at the door. Like, put your keys in the bin. It's a town matter, Marshal. Oh no, Wyatt. I gotta do something. The law is gonna just keep attracting Wyatt. Curly Bell! <laughs> Put it down, Curly Bill. Don't put your guard down. <sighs> the sound right now and the score and the sound cue around that shot felt very classic Western. Kill the man! Stand trial for it. Get back. So go home. I swear. To this is gonna be like law versus outlaw. Music lover. You're next. Music lover. Back it up now. Hell yeah. That's who I want. Sam Elliott. I feel like every night this goes down. Somebody gets drunk and this is what happens. Well, as you can see, never a dull moment. Hot. That's what, that's what she's thinking. Not me. That's what she's thinking. He's forward and he says, well, can't have a murder without a witness. What? Case dismissed. Yeah. Can you beat it? After all that? Can't have a murder without a witness. No one's gonna talk. Please, will you just hear now, me Now, hold out? on, Mayor. You already told you no. You tell him, Morg. How many more times are you gonna say no? Sorry, Mayor, but you're barking up the wrong tree. You know, you men are making a lot of money in this town. That's good, that's good. Good for you. <laughs> Blackmail? In the meantime. All we're saying is you can't carry a gun in town. You got us involved when you brought us here. Ugh, they're involved now. Neutrality not working anymore. It's got nothing to do with you, Wyatt. It's got to nothing do with to do with me. I'm your brother, for Christ's sake. God, I don't believe this. Talk to him, will you, or hit him? I didn't know they were brothers. I just found that out now. All those years I worked those cow towns, I was only ever mixed up in one shooting. Just one. But a man lost his life, and I took it. You're both making a big mistake. Oof. Gives his gun in, becomes a common citizen. It's the stance he's been trying to keep up this whole movie. Came in an hour ago. I tried to get him to go to bed, but he won't let go. I know. And nobody can make him. <laughs> he's Joe Pesci in Casino. Pull up a chair. Coked out and he won't go home. Y'all in it together. Nobody's in anything. I could drunk going home and sleep it off. Cowboys are losing their power in this town. And that cannot be good for the rest of this movie. <coughs> when does he keel over? Alright, get him up. Let's get him to the hotel. <sighs> Still doing some long takes in this movie, which is keeping with the Western genre. What's wrong with him? Water. Camera just using you pans. You die. You tell me. Look at these drunk people are so slow moving. <laughs> it appears 
we must redefine the nature of our association. It's a really classy way to put it. We must redefine the nature of our association. Wow, I'm really seeing this as a, a modern movie as well in terms of social message. Equal pay for equal work. Kind of just saying we've always been fighting for the same things. We're going down there now. What are we going to do? Wait till the liquor wears off. As soon as they start getting headaches, they'll lose interest. Lose interest. We hope. Christmas. You want to risk all that over a misdemeanor? You're damn right I'll risk it. They're breaking the law. A law they just kind of set and put and nailed to a building. This is not safe for anybody. Also, I'm tickled that this is the midpoint of the movie and not the bitter end. So I'm wondering, maybe this is a fake out? Cut. They've been doing the coolest three shots ever too. We'll call out more if we see them. The brothers in three. Go home. Really? From a wink? Ugh. Okay. I'm thinking flesh wounds for the bro the bruise, Sam Elliott. Gotcha. All right. All right. All of you are under arrest. For guns in public? I don't think I'll let you arrest us today, Behan. <sighs> Been holding my breath a little bit, you guys. Well, I guess we did our good deed for today, Mayor. How many cowboys are left? Can't be that many. Not lost on me that the town is called Tombstone. I'm just a nothing but if I wasn't, I'd fight you right now, so I don't want to talk to you. Mm. All they ever did was laugh at me. Another cool three shot. This is bad for PR. Don't any of you have the guts to play for blood? I'm your huckleberry. That's just my game. All right, Lunger. He's always down. Okay, so we got a we got a midpoint fight. Now um, my wheels are spinning. Um, we're gonna end it for good. It's the the brothers or the cowboys, and we gotta run one of them out of town. Tower of Babel, death. And Should we pull tarot at the end of this watch? That would be so fun. Real card game. The poor women in this movie have nothing to that? do. Literally a tea party, a tea and tarot party. Oh, God. Okay, tonight it goes down. Oh, God, no. <laughs> that was his good arm. I still got one good arm to hold you with. At least he got the right. Brothers to the bone, right, McMasters? No, not after this night. He's right, Wyatt. If you want us for anything, we're with you. Whoa. <laughs> Somebody shut that dog up! It's a lot of blood. You're the one. Don't worry about that. That it? Remember what I said about oh. seeing a light when you're dying? Do you see it? it? Ain't true. I can't see a damn thing. <laughs> and we're still congregating by open doors.
the drama. Now he's truly, truly alone. Just one guy. Add another tombstone. I want you to know it's over. Oh, it would be so hard, I feel like, to not seek revenge now. But it'll just be never-ending. <laughs> Going against the code of live and let live. Live and let die. Where is wife? Right behind you, Stillwell. <laughs> Woo! Yes! Oh, yeah. He's already taken one for the brothers. He's like, I've already killed. <laughs> what do they call those spurs, I think? Guys, I think I spy a new hyperfixation. Like, I'm about to just get really into westerns. United States Marshal. What? Please don't kill me. He's had too many chances, this guy. Tell all the other curs the lie's coming. You tell them I'm coming. And hell's coming with me, you hear? Oh, I got so many chills. Oh, the silhouettes again. <sighs> this is great. This is great. I see a red sash. That's it. Gotta say, biggest surprise in the whole movie is that Doc is participating with the good guys. I thought he was rotten to the core. I think the opening explained Doc to me, and I'm just forgetting what the opening said about him. Damn, this is what I wanted in a Western. This is it. I don't like hanging. Over there behind you. Got you in a little crossfire. How you like that? <laughs> he, 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 little crossfire. This is more fun than any action movie. Ooh, handheld camera. I haven't clocked too much handheld camera in this, but it's going off the rails right now, so we're off the rails. Camera's off the tripod. This went from like Western vengeance to like Terminator to just Matrix, just boom, 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 boom. Well, let's hope he's got another miracle up his sleeve. Let's find no Ringo. He's headed straight for us. Is he the Messiah? Is this our savior? Sure to be in bed. What the hell are you doing this for anyway? Wide up is my friend. Hell, I got lots of friends. I don't. He really doesn't. He's no friends, only enemies. How'd he get shot? Right? Oh, no. They tried to take my watch. He cursed them for cowards and they shot him. They killed the pretty talent. 30 of them. They're all wearing badges. I cannot believe Doc is still kicking. I'm sorry about your friend. And I'm, I'm sorry that I... I forgave you the moment you said it. You did. She forgives easily. Helps when you're into the person, right? Wait. Stay. Oak Grove at the mouth of Sulphur Springs Canyon. Seven o'clock. You tell him I'll be there. Oh, you crap. I'll be there. Ah, <sighs> it's a duel, a proper duel. A man like Ringo got a great empty hole right to the middle of him what does he need revenge i'm like yeah what could we give this what could we give him instead money it all happened so fast with curly bell i didn't really have time to think about it but i've had plenty of time to think about this i can't beat him can i no 
I don't know how you, it's just luck of the draw, right? Another phrase, luck of the draw, whoever draws first. Damn. What's it like to wear one of those? I know, he never got to be law. It means a lot to him, his buddy. Don't worry. They want him, they gotta come over us first. Is that it? If Wyatt just sacrifices himself, if they get left alone, I don't, I'm, I'm still holding out that Wyatt comes, comes out on top. I don't know though. <sighs> Haven't seen a camera movement that fast in this movie. I ain't got the words. I know. Me neither. Just goodbye, really. Mm. Well. So I didn't mean. think you had it in you. I'm your huckleberry. <gasps> you look like somebody just walked over your grave. Oh my goodness. And this time, it's legal. <laughs> oh my god. All right, longer. I just need to know who was in on this. Did Wyatt order this? Do they know he came? I love this choice. Say when. <laughs> Say when. Me with a bunch of Parmesan at an Italian restaurant. Come on. It took me a second. It took me a second. Okay. You know things are all. Poor soul. You were just too high strung. Oh. Okay. Maybe he didn't know. Oh, I wasn't quite as sick as I made out. I don't know if that's a good thing. I guess it is. I'm happy. My hypocrisy goes only so far. All right. <laughs> It's cool. Colorado. Is he gone? No. Oh. Nope. I saw a breath. Just last rites. Hypocrisy knows no bound. You're no hypocrite, Doc. You just like to sound like one. My hypocrisy knows no bounds is such a good line. I'm dying. How are you? Pretty much the same. How many? Damn. You're the most foul. He's not Doc unless he's gambling. You're the only human being in my entire life ever gave me hope. <sighs> okay, Chanel. I was in love once. My first cousin. She was 15. What? Okay, didn't love that. Go grab that spirited actress and make her your own. Live for me. Why am I feeling things for this man? Not even the slightest feeling for me. Leave now. Tell him you love him. It's a really good performance. Really good. <sighs> Full body chills. Did he write him a little book or something? Gilbert and Sullivan. Gilbert and Sullivan. This means he's gonna go find the actress. You ever see the sun come up over the Rockies? It hits all of a sudden, and below there's California. I promise I'll love you the rest of your life. Don't worry, Wyatt. My family's rich. <laughs> Explains how she can be an actor. What you wanted to do the first night we met. Remember? 
Uh-uh. Which is? May I have this dance? Oh. <laughs> uh. Yes. I was like, fuh. The power of the cowboy gang was broken forever. I Hokey ending for this bloody movie. Wyatt Earp died in Los Angeles in 1929. Among the pallbearers at his funeral were early Western movie stars William S. Hart and Tom Mix. Oh my gosh. There's more. Ah, oh, those shots were my favorite shots of the movie. Billy Bob. Oh, that was Charlton Heston. Oh, that sucks. I missed that too. Okay, let's talk about it. Okay, Tombstone from 1993. I have now seen it, and you guys, I found that so freaking entertaining. I loved that. I thought that was very, very strong. I was entertained the whole way through. I think the real stars are Val Kilmer, Kurt Russell, just wow, but like obviously the supporting brothers are amazing. I just freaking love this story. I think it is gripping and fun, it's so fun. This is probably how I like to have fun in a movie. You know, it is just kind of showing off, really. They're, it's this, they're really gloating with this one. It is just making mentions visually to everything that's come before it. Um, it's got some quirky modern 1993 dialogue. It has some 1993 movie stars, but the production design is so cool. I don't know how accurate it would have been, how much gunslinging there actually would have been. I'm sure a ton, but like I, when they were having fun with it, I felt like it was a little campy. So that was fun for me. Like when they're at the theater and they're just shooting through the roof and everything, like I'm just like, this is really just taking the genre and just saying, how do we serve you up everything that this genre has to offer? on in every way and like they nailed it for me down to you know people dying of <laughs> tb or whatever i wrote down location which we'll look up the characters i'm in love with i found like some of the sound cues were very classic western it was kind of about the law and like do you want to be part of the law or do you want to be a part of the outlaws and like who what's it gonna be and i love that doc was that muddy character for us the one who is like sort of the bad guy but also sort of wanted to be law enforcement and then he gets the badge and then he gives up the badge in the end to, in order to kill so i've loved that I just want to say that I think that it's a little bit too happy and hokey of an ending for this movie. I think that this, the time period in 1993 probably, you know, strong armed someone into making a creative decision where it was like a little bit, the ending was a little bit like um, a Christmas carol. It's like, and they all lived happily ever after. But if this is biographical, which I think it is, and Wyatt Earp really did get the girl and live happily ever after, then you know what? Uh, aren't I gonna feel stupid, you know? So I just think the ending was sort of hokey and that's it. Let's look up where luck of the draw comes from. That could be gambling, but it I thought it meant guns. Yeah, so luck of the draw is gambling. <laughs> I really thought I was doing something there. Okay, let's just go to my world famous trivia section and check it out and see. Oh, the tombstone that I missed in the beginning said, Here lies Lester Moore, four slugs from a 44, no les, no more. A real life tombstone in Tombstone, Arizona. That's cool. The wink was improvised by Val Kilmer. Cool. Oh my gosh. Kevin Jar insisted actors wear real wool costumes. They looked incredible. Kilmer practiced his quick draw speed. I was going to say, Kilmer was the only one with a really intense Southern aristocratic accent. He gave that. The Southern accent is an authentic touch as Holiday was a cousin. Several generations removed of Margaret Mitchell, author of Gone with the Wind. Wyatt died in 1929, having never been so much as scratched by a single bullet. Whoa. Before his death, he walked in Hollywood circles and John Wayne once claimed to have met him, apparently modeling his famous walk on that of Wyatt Earp. Whoa. 
He was a consultant in the motion picture industry, advising on Westerns after he moved to Hollywood in 1915. Cool career for him. He frequently visited the sets of several silent films, directed by John Ford, starring Harry Carey. Another nod to Great Train Robbery, the cowboy firing the pistol at the camera in the beginning credits of this film is actually from the final scene of 1903's The Great Train Robbery, a film by the Edison Company. The scene frightened audience members who believed they were about to be shot. The actor is unknown. Oh, wow. Early, early cinema history. Ugh, I didn't understand what I'm your huckleberry meant when Doc said it. It means I'm the perfect man for the job. Well, Val Kilmer had the art department fill his deathbed with ice as he laid on it, not to shake more in the performance, not only to shake more, but also to create a pain equal to what Doc might have felt saying goodbye. Damn. Seems about true that Wyatt only killed one man. That man was George Hoy in Dodge City, Kansas. A love scene between Wyatt and Josephine was cut. He did not want to consummate the love story so fast. Filmed in Arizona, which we saw. Oh, Jennifer Connelly auditioned for Josephine. I would have really liked to have seen Jennifer Connelly do it. Yep. So the laudanum addiction, laudanum is a tincture of opium containing 10% raw powdered opium, about equivalent to 1% pure morphine. Oh, and then there's another trivia fact that says he's not saying I'm your huckleberry. He's saying I'm your, your hucklebearer, implying that he will carry Johnny to his grave. Interesting. Okay, let's just confirm that we, what we know, which was we shot in Arizona. Babo Kamari Ranch is Henry Hooker's ranch. Old Tucson, the little Dragoon Mountains. I believe it if there was some soundstage work for the interiors, but it doesn't look like it. You don't make any mention of a soundstage. Oh God, okay, here comes the part where I don't know what to guess for budget. 50 million, $25 million budget. Getting worse and worse at this. Okay. So you've now seen my reaction to Toon Stone. So I'm beyond interested. What other Westerns do I need to catch? Please let me know. Where were you when you first caught Toon Stone? Did you think it was as fun as I thought? Where do you think it stacks up in terms of the great Westerns? I happen to love when it is... I love that it's kind of quirky and campy and fun and silly sometimes. It's not like all like traditional gritty bleak western it's like got some fun peppered in there so you're gonna have to let me know about that patreon information if you want to see my full review of this movie and like a hundred at least or 200 others link in the description box below for that um thanks to my patrons who said on my 15 dollar tier you guys are the best and you know the drill i'm gonna go eat <laughs>